I don't do tons of phone reviews on here, but uh, I got this, I got a great deal here uh, on a Pixel XL. Um, bought it on eBay uh, for a real good deal. Um, and uh, I thought I'd show you guys it. Um, this is a Pixel XL. 32 gig version. Um, I got it on eBay for $175, uh, which is a really good deal. Uh, <clears throat> I got that good of a deal uh, because it has this tiny, has this tiny crack right there. You can see it has a tiny crack right there, and so the person was selling it real cheap. It also is a Verizon phone, uh, and I don't use Verizon. Uh, but so it's a blocked it's a blocked phone on Verizon but for those of you who don't know a blocked Verizon phone you can put a SIM card in and use it on AT&T or T-Mobile uh, or any other GSM phone I mean any other GSM network uh, worldwide uh, so I guess I guess I took advantage of someone uh, on eBay that didn't know those things uh, but nevertheless, he sold it. He got what he wanted, uh, and I got what I wanted, which was a really good deal uh, to go try out this Pixel. Uh, uh, the uh, the finger the finger unlock is right here, uh, and it's very quick, as you can see. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, it is it is running uh, it is running Android. 7.1.2 sounds pretty cool um, uh, let's see what else uh, the camera I, uh, probably most of you have heard that the camera uh, is good uh, and the camera really is uh, it's spectacular I mean one of the best things is like the uh, the ability to adjust quickly uh, and perfectly to light and dark uh, like it just adjusts look at that it just adjusts so quick uh, so I would agree with those that say that this camera uh, is really really amazing um, what I should do I guess is I should film a little bit with this phone and I should uh, add it into the end of this vlog uh, so that you can see what it can do. Um, uh, you can see it comes with the uh, with the Google Assistant uh, and the Assistant is definitely upgraded uh, and is definitely uh, I would it's the best assistant out there I think for sure. Um, th this phone uh, is very quick very snappy uh, I have not had any lag uh, so far. Um, overall, I think that the Pixel... The, well, this is the Pixel XL, but I assume that the Pixel uh, is very much the same as this. Um, but, I don't know. This is a really good deal. This is a really good phone. It feels, it feels nice and sturdy in your hand. Uh, it fits, I have large hands, but, so this, the Pixel XL fits my hands well. Um, you can see the camera and the, and the flash there. Um, so I guess the lesson here is, oh, this has, it even came with a, uh, with one of those, like, glass screen protectors. Uh, that supposedly helps you, supposedly if you, if you would crack your screen, uh, the, the, the screen protector would crack, uh, instead, and it wouldn't crack your screen. Uh, I guess I'm not really willing to try that to see, but, um, this phone feels good in your hands. Uh, there's, uh, I guess there's some good deals out there, uh, on eBay for these phones. This is only the 32 gigabyte version. Uh, it does not have an SD card slot. So for some people, for some people, surely... The 32 gigabyte version is probably a little bit small, um, um, but uh, 
I don't know. It, it, a, a really good thing to remember, uh, if you are on AT&T uh, or T-Mobile or uh, Straight Talk or one of those other GSM networks, or if you're international, uh, sometimes on eBay there are Verizon phones uh, that show up on there for cheap uh, because the phone has been blocked from from the Verizon network uh, but all modern I would say probably since 2015 all modern Verizon phones you can you can stick in any GSM SIM, SIM card uh, and the SIM card slot is unlocked uh, and you can stick in any GSM SIM card and it will just work. Uh, so there's a little, uh, there's a little hack for you. Uh, go out there and see if you can find yourself a good deal on, a good deal on eBay with a, uh, with a blocked, with a blocked Verizon phone. Uh, I don't really know what else to show you guys. I mean, it is stock Android, uh, which I personally like. Not everyone likes that, but I like the stock Android experience. Um, because it's a Pixel, uh, you will get all of the Android updates right away. You'll be the first to get them. Uh, this is actually signed up for the Android beta program, so uh, I, even, I get those updates even sooner uh, than other people do. Of course, you take a little bit of risk in that with... Uh, if they release something early that has like any like problems or whatever, whatever. Anyway, uh, Pixel XL, great, great phone. Go out and get yourself one, folks. So I'm sitting here uh, in the same the same room, uh, same lighting. Um, let me. Uh, I want to wipe off my lens real fast. Sitting here in the same room, same lighting, um, but now I'm using, now I'm recording on the actual Pixel. Um, now you can see the phone that I was recording with, uh, which is the LG V20. Um, the thing I like about the V20 is that it has uh, the dual camera there on the back. Uh, so one of them's a wide-angle lens, um, and that is spectacular. Uh, it works very well. Um, it actually has a wide-angle lens on the front, too, for the selfie cam. Um, but anyways, this is not really a review about the V20, but I just thought I'd show you that. Um, uh, let's, uh, let's go into some different lighting and show you how this how this phone reacts uh, you can you can go into bright light uh, let's try turning off the lights um, it just reacts it just reacts so quickly uh, to different lighting Each time you see me pausing there, uh, I'm I'm just clicking on the screen to to refocus to refocus and uh, reset the light balance. Uh, well, there we got a little blurry. Um, yeah, this uh, this phone this phone no doubt. Has, has the best camera that I've ever used on a mobile device. It's amazing. So, if your main priority, your top priority on a cell phone uh, <clears throat> is a good camera, the Pixel or the Pixel XL might be for you. Um, I mean, just I mean, just to note, I'm I'm sitting here in a in a dark room. It is a dark room. Uh, and I'm not using a flash. Um, and you can see what it looks like. I mean, it's amazing. Alright guys, uh, I don't do a lot of reviews, but 
I would actually like to tell you that coming up next week, uh, coming up on Monday, I am getting uh, the Korean version of the Galaxy S8, uh, and I'm pretty psyched about that. So I will definitely be posting a review of that. Uh, the, you might ask, hey, why would you get a Korean version? Uh, the Korean version has six gigabytes um, of operating RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage, as well as an SD card slot. So with my 256 gigabyte micro SD card that I will jam in there, along with my 125, 128 gigabytes built in, I mean, I have nearly a half a terabyte of storage, which on this little phone in my hand, it's pretty amazing. So next week probably, maybe on Monday, but for sure by Tuesday or Wednesday, I will be posting a review of that. So if you want to see the S8 in action, tune in for that.